Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the APS or Amanda Plays Sims Legacy Challenge. The rules will be in the description below as well as a playlist for all of the series. So Forrest has rebuilt his house. We used to have a trailer and I completely trashed that. So we have an industrial looking house or a modern looking house. And what we're going to do here is just take a tour of the inside, if I can get in there. So I did place all the My Sims trophies in this little hallway here. The entrance area has a small dining room table with two chairs and three stools for the counters. So that basically sits all of the Sims that live in this house. There are five Sims. And then this is the kitchen. We have new laundry machines, no more hand washing. And then we have the kids' bedrooms. So there's an orange bedroom, a purple bedroom, and a pink bedroom. And I just used the furniture and the wallpapering that was in the old trailer, but now they're just in a nicer layout. Here we have the bathroom, which is pretty much the same, except for now it actually has a bathroom sink and we have a kitchen sink in the kitchen. And then we have Claire's room, which is looking pretty bare, but at least it's a little bit larger now. And then this is Forrest's room. So Forrest now has a full wardrobe and a little side table, and I put his desk in here. So it's a little bit larger of a bedroom than the other one was. And there's also some nice coloring on the walls. So we have a little bit of green and then the brown. And it's because there isn't too much in the way of industrial wallpaper or flooring unless you want to go gray or brown or some dark color like that. There's nothing that's really green. So his room doesn't have as much green as I would like, but the rest of the house has a little bit more, especially the kitchen. So I just love the kitchen. The kitchen is a little bit of a kitchen that might be in a restaurant or something of that nature. That, at least that's what it reminds me of. And we still have the green metal ceiling and roof. So that's also a plus. The yard also looks pretty nice because we have a back patio and some plants here and there, the garbage can and the little bus stop. And of course, the gnomes. We also have a front patio with columns and the mailbox. So yeah, that's our new house for Forest. Now, as far as things to do today, we have the family fun day at Sulani, the festival of youth, the poetry evening, and the starlight accolades. But today is also Forrest's birthday, so he's going to be a full adult. Oh, today is also the flea market. That was not on the schedule. Okay, so I guess we're going to skip the family fun day, even though I sometimes like to do that one. Uh, we can't if the flea market is in town because I want as much time as possible for trading. And that's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we're also going to skip the poetry evening and maybe we'll go to the starlight accolades after we're done with the flea market. So since the festival of youth hasn't started yet, we'll just get everyone to come in here and watch Forrest blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Forrest. Time for your adult life to start. I know he's an adult, but he's a young adult. Now he's going to be an actual adult. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. And let's all take a piece. I'm not going to call to Neil because someone else is going to take my cake. So we need to stay here until 1130 since we got here right when the festival started at 1030. Oh, it didn't let me have my semi-capsule. Let's go ahead and shake the machine. Try your luck, Forrest. Okay, we got it this time. And we got Izzy Fabulous! A gold Izzy Fabulous! Alright, so here we are at the flea market. Let's see what tables they're going to be running today. Looks like just some lamps. Is that it? Is anyone going to be selling My Sims Go trophies? Stop talking, Claire. Go trade trophies. 
Okay, somebody is selling snow globes. Okay, if we trade rares, maybe we'll be more likely to get rares. And we got our collection complete. I think it actually knows which ones you need and gives you the ones you need. At least it really seems that way. I know other people have been having issues, but we have completed our collection now. We have Zombie Carl. So we really don't need to be at the flea market anymore. You guys can just have fun. Maybe we'll buy some snow globes. I don't really see anything in the way of furniture that looks good. Oh, there's a dinosaur one, and someone just bought the Sims one. I really wanted the Plum Bob. Oh, and there's a snow globe of the Grim Reaper. Limited edition. It looks so weird. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. We're just going to buy up all the snow globes, I guess. And we completed the snow globes collection. <laughs> Oh, that's actually pretty cute. I don't think we have all of them, though. I think what it is is if you get so many of them, they consider the collection complete. Oh, no, we've actually gotten all of the snow globes. So I saw one that was a plum bob. There it is. Plum bob snow globe limited edition. We must have that one already at home. Although it looks like it was just received. I do not see that one in my inventory because somebody else bought it. Claire? Claire got it somehow. Oh, she got it out of the boxes. Okay, so I sent her to go collect collectibles and she actually was rummaging and that's the one that she got. It was the only one that someone else bought off of the stable. Okay, it's already two o'clock. Maybe we should go and see if the family fun day is still going on. Well, the Sulani fun day is still going on. I don't know how long this event lasts. Okay, now we'll stop over in Copperdale for the poetry reading. And I think I'm going to take the kids this time. I know that they can't buy from the thrifty shop, but I think a poetry reading would be enriching for them. All right, even though the kids cannot buy any thrifty outfits, they can actually watch the poetry readings. That's nice. And I guess everybody likes forest poetry. Oh no, now they don't like it. They go back and forth. Such fickle people. Okay, the kids cannot actually do the experimental poetry reading though. And our host for the Starlight Accolades is Malcolm Landgrab in his swimsuit. I don't get that. Okay, so Forrest is not high enough of a celebrity to get in. So we invited over Trinity and we should be able to go sit here now. Okay, why can we not get in? She's part of our group. No, she's going in by herself. Okay, well, we can't get in. I guess we have to watch from outside right now. Megumi won an award. Oh, we got in somehow. How did we get in? Okay, there's a bouncer here finally. A lot of times when I come here, there is no bouncer on the lot. So maybe there has to be a bouncer here in order for you to get in with someone else. Well, we're able to watch the Starlight Accolades from inside. I should edit this lot and add more chairs. There's obviously a need for more chairs here. Well, everyone got tired out at the Starlight Accolades, and we're going to go to bed. It's 10 p.m. on a Sunday, and for Monday, I think the only thing that is scheduled is a fashion show at Thrifty and then the Sulani Town Barbecue, unless there's another surprise event like last time. And now that everyone's at work and school and I've exhausted all the collectibles in this area, we're going to go to the Sim Lab. So we just take the bus. And when you come to the lot this way, there's no one else here and there's nothing going on, but it doesn't matter. I'm just here for the collectibles. And it looks like Amelia and Amal's grades are up. And I only allow myself to stay here until 3 p.m., which is when the kids get home from school. So we can go to the fashion show at Thrifty. Yeah. So even though there's a fashion show here, we're just going to have the kids do their homework. Ooh, juicy gossip. Kelly Bita has asked out Trinity. Yeah, Trinity, go for it. Oh, did Forrest get promoted? Sure, he's an angel investor now. He does need some coffee. Is there some boba tea that counts as coffee? Probably not. Oh, there's a coffee maker in here. All right. 
I know that a lot of places don't sell coffee and don't have coffee available. So I'm happy when this little kitchen is here and it has a coffee maker. I don't know if I added that. Probably not. And Forrest is also now a people person. Okay, Jade is asking us out on a date. I guess we should go and then maybe bring her to the Sulani place, but Forrest has not had a sip of his coffee yet. <laughs> Great, okay. Oh, it put it in his inventory, perfect. Oh, the Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town? Why do these city living festivals not show up until the time comes for them to be there? It's just annoying. Okay, it's from 5 to 11 p.m. So we need to go on this date for a while until it's at least three hours. I would say let's spend an hour on this date and maybe we'll <laughs> invite Jade with us, even though she's embarrassed for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, Jade had a nice time, despite the fact that we ended things early. Okay, we stopped in Sulani for the barbecue because I want to get something to eat. And then we'll go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. And I'm not sure if that is children appropriate. I think it would be okay for teenagers, but maybe we'll leave the kids at home for that one. The only thing is I don't know if this thing will be ready in time. It says one hour and 40 minutes until ready. That's a long time. You have to be quick at these barbecues because there isn't enough servings for everyone that shows up. And it looks like Claire Ann missed out, but she's doing her homework. Well, we've got to go to the Human Hijinks Festival. We don't have time for this. Well, I didn't know this, but apparently kids can join the pranksters of the jokesters too. So everyone's going to join the pranksters. It's Forrest. Oh yeah, Forrest is mean. I thought for sure that he wasn't mean, but no, I did make him mean. All right, so that's why he keeps being mean to the kids. But when he's mean to the kids, he's just nagging them. It's not mean as in really mean so he's just you know telling him clean up your room clean up your room do your homework do your homework he's not really being mean mean he's just being a difficult parent to get along with claire join the jokesters what okay so the pranksters won i don't know why everyone joined the pranksters except for claire and claire joined the jokesters claire well, it's the end of the night, and we gotta go home because we have school tomorrow and work, I think. And we have not researched our stocks. That figures. Alright, the kids are going to head to bed, and Forrest is going to go research his stocks. Speaking invitation, Forrest has been asked to be the keynote speaker at the Investment Shark Financial Rodeo Conference. If he can make a strong presentation, it should be easy to attract some new clients. Sure, I guess. Forrest's speech doesn't hit the mark. It's not a disaster, but is quickly forgotten. He would have been better off spending his time focusing on work. Okay, so he got a small performance loss for some reason. That didn't seem like a regular chance card, but I guess it was. Oh, and it's Winterfest tomorrow. So the only thing that's on Tuesday is the Sulani Flower and Music Festival. It looks like we are out of city living events, too. And Forrest is home. Oh, the vending machine took my money again. One of these times, Forrest is going to get unlucky and get smushed by this vending machine. Not today, though. He got some coffee. So I wonder where the flowers are. I mean, I see the music. There's a person playing guitar, and there's these speakers around. I guess the speakers have flowers on them. And the whole pavilion is surrounded in flowers. It's too bad kids can't play the guitar, though. Oh, and everything is over. Okay, time to go home, then. Okay, and we have passed the aspirational step of having 20000 in reserve. So now we need to have 35000 in reserve and earn 75000 and Forrest is actually having an issue with mental fog, so I'm going to see if making drinks helps. I mean, it's supposed to be a creative skill, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And he likes mixology. So we're going to use that. It's funny how everyone is in Forrest's room now that I told them all to do their homework. Well, it's Winterfest, and Forrest has made some turkey. 
but the kids don't really need to eat a grand meal, so they had some franks and beans earlier. And Claire is not really hungry, so I don't want to make her eat turkey yet. But we might get her to come here and everyone to open presents. Well, everyone was able to gather around, but it looks like you're going to go clean out some spoiled food and you're going to go play with emotion. Come on, go open your presents. Okay, Claire Ann got a carrot because somebody pranked the presents. Okay, we got a refrigerator with Claire. Forrest got a dragon sculpture. Amal got Charlotte's Pig, which I think is a toddler book. I don't know why he's happy about that. And Amelia got another gnome, Mr. Floppy. I'm going to go ahead and sell the refrigerator because I've got that exact refrigerator. Well, since it's Winterfest and we really don't have that much to do, maybe we'll just go to the park because... There's an amateur comedy night at 3 p.m. at Thrifty. And there's a Sulani Town Potluck at 6 p.m. But otherwise, there's really nothing going on today. Well, um, Boris got smashed. Okay, I guess I better avoid that. All right, let's go hang out with Jade, I suppose. Okay, so I know it's Winterfest and all, but Forrest did bring his kids and Claire with him. And they're out here just roasting over this fire, making some marshmallows and hot dogs. Oh, Forrest is inside talking to Jade and drinking a buffalo wing tea. Well, it was nice hanging out with you, Jade, but I think we're going to go to Thrifty and check out the amateur comedy night. So Forrest did a comedy routine and he had his cup of coffee. So now we can go home and just relax for the rest of Winterfest. Oh look, Father Winter is here. Oh, Ava is here to say hi. And I know it is really, really late and Amelia is still up, but she has seldom sleepy. So she tends not to get tired. Claire Ann's birthday is on Friday though. I don't know if she's going to get a chance to finish her aspiration. She's not that far. I guess we could make a go of it tomorrow. And we need to go to some place with monkey bars. And she also needs to get a high score on the typing game. She's almost a level 10 motor skill. So maybe. Well, it looks like on Thursdays, the only thing going on is the Sulani Island celebration. Jade is asking us out on another date. Sure, I guess we'll go. Oh, right. We were going to try and finish Claire Ann's aspiration. Well, we can bring her here. There's monkey bars. Forrest wants to have a child because he's family oriented. But no, Forrest, you are done having kids. And we have Claire Ann just needing to get a high score on the typing game. She is level 10. And there we have it. All right, so Claire Ann did finish her aspiration. I know it wasn't required, but it seemed like she was close enough that we had to do it. Okay, so Amelia has also completed her aspiration. She had the same one. I think since today is Claire Ann's birthday, we're just going to hang out at home. The only thing that's really going on is the fashion shows, the beach bonfire, and the talent showcase, which none of them are really festivals. And, of course, the Festival of Light is coming up. I forgot about that one. No, Jade, we cannot hang out tonight. Happy birthday, Clarion! Okay, so Clarion got a random trait. And why does she have low self-esteem? Okay, I did not realize that she had low confidence. I've never seen that happen. Now, Claire Ann is going to get a trait from Forrest. So, Forrest is cheerful, materialistic, perfectionist, overachiever, family oriented, and mean. So, which one of those is Claire Ann going to get? And Claire Ann is a perfectionist. Now, as far as the aspiration, 
I don't think it matters because Claire Ann is not going to be the heir. But we'll go ahead and make her a friend of the animals. And wow, Claire Ann, I think she needs a makeover. Okay, that's much better. Claire Ann is very tired though, so she's going to go to sleep, even though it's only 8 p.m. All right, so it's Saturday, and I think today we're going to try and do the Sulani fishing competition and then go to the romance festival. I don't think we're going to do the Finchwick Fair because we don't have a cow. Well, we're here at the fishing tournament, and I have a fish to submit, but I don't know how long it takes. Okay, the biggest fish wins, but when is this event over? It's 5 p.m., and the romance festival will be starting soon. Let's ask about Claire Ann's romance destiny. Vibrations show a tall, dark stranger in your near future. Well, there's probably not... Oh, there's a teen. Okay, so there are some teenagers here. Are you a tall, dark stranger? Well, um, unfortunately, the Sims are all the same height. But she is dark and she's a stranger. So, potential, let's introduce ourselves. And she was right behind us, too. Maybe we can cheer her up, though. She's very sad, so potentially she had a parent pass away. Or maybe a grandparent. And she's going to compliment her appearance. I did not select that. Oh, but at least we cheered her up. She's now fine. Well, it looks like Cassandra is a B-lister. I don't think that we can introduce ourselves to her. There's actually a lot of teens here. I did not expect that. Well, it's 11 p.m. and the week is over. So we're just going to go with the flow and see who we meet at the Bromance Festival. And maybe we'll meet someone we can date. Who knows? Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.